See, I have this philosophy. If you don't ASK, you're not going to GET. What is the worst thing that can happen? Someone says no. Well, how about in building your businesses? See, I know there's been times when you might have asked for a referral or you've gone in to develop a new piece of business and you said, you know, I don't think they're going to go for it. I, I, you know, we've got competitors out there. Why should they pick us? And you asked and they said, sure. And you almost fell off your chair. See, I always say, if you don't ask, what's the difference? You're in the same spot you were 30, 30 seconds before. If they say yes, you've just gone to the next level. Transform, optimize, and accelerate if you want to be successful. In 1995, I was approached by the St. Louis Rams of the National Football League and the St. Louis Ambush to be the team physician. For the next five years, we worked on their brains and we worked on their bodies. We brought them from worst to first, and the plan was simple. We taught them to transform their thinking, optimize their assets, and accelerate their connectivity, accelerate the speed at which they executed. Five years later, the St. Louis Rams became the Super Bowl champions of the National Football League, the world champions. In addition, so did the St. Louis Ambush because they put a simple plan in place that both you and I can put in place and achieve everything we want out of our lives if we just transform, optimize, and accelerate. Transform our thinking, optimize our assets, and accelerate our connectivity, our businesses and lives will grow and flourish. And that's all you need to do. Dr. Rick Goodman is a speaker, author, and serial entrepreneur who has delivered over 1,000 presentations throughout the world, in addition to creating several multi-million dollar businesses. Dr. Rick is passionate about sharing his proven success systems on leadership, engagement, and business growth. Please welcome Dr. Rick Goodman. I like to ask a lot of people questions. I'm an undercover guy. I'll call phones. I've, some of you have submitted some questionnaires to me. But one thing that I have noticed around here is there's a lot of working fours and not a lot of working withs. See, what I taught doctors around the world is just get your right people the right way. And guess what? They will refer. And you know how much that costs? Zero. Because people do business with people who they like or like them. You will go buy a product from a friend of yours, even if it costs you a couple dollars more than go to a local discount place. How many of you have ever had one of those patients? You walk in, it's like one of those difficult patients. Like, oh my God, Sally Jones is here. Let's run. We've all had that happen. But in our power, with our attitude, the things that we can do to overcome issues with patients, with insurance, you know, this is one of the best times in the world, frankly. And you have to understand that every single person in this room wants three things. And if you understand the three things that every single one of you in this room wants, the sky is the limit. You will be the most successful person on the planet. Everybody wants three things. They want love, appreciation, and respect. They need it like the food they eat, the air they breathe, and the water they drink. You give people love, appreciation, and respect, they will give you everything that you ever want. They will give you money, they will give you things, they will give you love back. And if you don't give them those three things, you will get Mr. Zero. I was going to make a big dinner for my wife. I went out, I got a couple dozen roses. I was all excited about the night. And I had the roses. She, she usually would come in through the garage, and she'd open up the garage door, and boom, there were the roses right there. So what did I want to get, guys? I wanted to get the, ah, oh, what a great husband I have, right? That's what I was looking for. Here's the problem. She didn't read my script. This was my movie in my head. How many people have not read your script? Well, she walked in the house, and she was on the phone with my sister-in-law. And she's on the phone and she's talking and she walks right by the flowers. And she's talking and she goes in the bedroom. And she's talking and all of a sudden she turns around, she sees the flowers and she goes, I gotta get off the phone. <laughs> she killed it. See, some of you have got to start communicating your script to the people that you work with. Well, it was 1997 in St. Louis, Missouri. It was a gorgeous fall day, and I had the opportunity 
to speak to an enthusiastic group of leaders just like yourself. In fact, it was the National Fall Leadership Conference for the Future Business Leaders of America. And I happened to be one of their workshop presenters. The title of my workshop was Goals, How to Get Everything You Want Out of Life. See, as I've traveled around the country, and in fact traveled around the world, I've asked people the same question. And this is a great question. So guys, if you want to have fun tonight, or when you get home, this is a great question. I have asked people 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, I say to them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you know the number one answer that I get? I don't know. Let me give you a piece of advice. I learned this first year in school. It was somewhere after gross anatomy and right before neurology. You ain't coming back. You may come back as a fish or a frog, but you're not coming back as you. So if you're not doing what you love to do, you better do something different. See, because your attitude is shaped by your beliefs. It's internal. See, if you believe that you're going to be able to double and triple your business, you're going to. And if you don't believe you can, you're going to be right too. Anytime there's an opportunity for us to treat, see, and affect more people on this planet is an opportunity for us to do good. And it comes back to you tenfold return. See, if you give to get, you're even. If you give expecting nothing in return, you're always ahead of the game. How many of you toss and turn and obsess about somebody at work when you're sleeping? How many of you had that happen? few of you. Or how about you're on the highway, someone cuts you off, you give them your number one sign. Anybody have been there? Right? Now this person is sipping a cocktail out on the beach, they're going over the island on a ferry, and you're talking about them. Do you know what? They live rent-free in your head. They do. They are oblivious. They didn't wake up and say, hey, let me go cut off Christina today and get her upset. They are oblivious. And a lot of times, the people that we work with they're oblivious to some of their actions. They don't recognize that. Yet, based on the place we're at, we internalize it. And when you internalize it, that's when you start to get that self-talk going, and the self-talk is never good. And then you get upset, and you work yourself up, and you get more upset because it's what you're saying. So you've got to change that pattern. How many of you have ever said it's going to be one of those days? Raise your hands. Anybody ever say that? Okay. And mom and grandma. How many have the mom and grandmas that say bad things happen in threes? Anybody have those mom and grandmas? Me too. And you wake up and what happens? All of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All these bad things start happening to you. And you know what you'd say at the end of the day? See? I was right. I knew it was going to be one of those days and I was right. Here's my question. What did you ever get for being right? Have you ever worked with someone that you couldn't warm up to if you were cremated with them? Anybody have this happen? <laughs> you know, this is the person that might win the, the lottery and complain about paying taxes. You all know this person. You know, someone licked all the red off their candy cane. You know, they're unhappy. <laughs> See, some of you wake up and you say, I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays. I wake up every morning, I say the same exact thing. I say I'm a healthy, vital, active, happy, and successful human being. I affirm today that all tissues and organs in my body are functioning perfectly, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm, re I'm more relaxed than ever before because I choose peaceful, loving thoughts and release my fears, worries, and anxieties. Tension is gone because I'm creating an atmosphere of ease and confidence. My mind is uncluttered because I have set specific goals and planned action steps for their accomplishment. I feel better now. Nature uses the food that I eat, the air that I breathe, the water that I drink and the rest that I get to rebuild, repair, and revitalize me for the future. Radiant energy flows through me. I also affirm today that money is plentiful and an abundant supply, and this money flows freely and constantly into my life as I render loving service to all mankind. What do you say? <laughs> The 
Dr. Rick Goodman is an engagement expert. Dr. Rick Goodman, who wrote this book called The Living a Championship Life. I hit a grand slam home run, and it was all because I was in the moment focusing on the relationship. You're a motivational speaker, you said. Yes. And so you were planning on writing a book anyways. I was planning on writing a book, A Dad's Guide to Traveling with a Teenage Daughter, Generation Y. Like, why would you do it? I made a decision a few months ago that I was going to take my daughter on a trip to Europe. No phones, no computers. Pretty scary thought. 16-year-old kid. Mini me. Big time mini me. If I tell you, my daughter wouldn't share anything with me before this trip. I couldn't, it was like, talk to the hand. Anybody have that happen? <laughs> like, Dad, you can't relate. One day she was complaining, we're in Paris, and she's complaining about being in Paris, and you know, we're walking. Like, who complains about being in Paris? I'm tired, I want to go back to the hotel, call a cab. And all of a sudden I hear this play-by-play -play in French, and I'm listening to this play-by-play -play in French. I go, let's go walk to that. I don't want to go there. No, I want a cab. No cabs are taking us, Jamer. Let's just go walk toward the music. We walk, we walk. We walk right into the last leg of the Tour de France where the Englishman won for the first time in 100 years. I looked at her, I said, this is unbelievable. Do you know what you're seeing right now? This is unbelievable. We walked right into this. We didn't plan this. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about just going to Epcot for a day, and we could have knocked out all those different countries. You know, but the reality <laughs> of it was that if we spend that time together, it's there. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, 1.30 in the morning, we're walking through Florence, Italy. And she grabs my hand. She said, Dad, we make a great team. It was the best thing I ever did. She came back. I said, let's see what we both wrote. She wrote magnificently. And the book became her book. It became Jamie's Journey Travels with My Dad. So who's got, who's got a 16-year-old here? You do? Here you go. You will make a comeback, Jennifer. <laughs> what she does is she gives advice to other kids. Hey, you know when your dad's annoying? Hang in there. You may learn something. And then there's my revelations. Make your plans and be flexible and break them. Because the night before we left for Europe, she called me up and she said, uh, Dad, uh, no offense. Have you ever gotten a no offense line? Uh, no offense, uh, but I want to hang out with my friends. I had to rebook a hotel, change a flight, because I, I thought I was going to be there, help her get through this. No. We're so close now. She just called me a few minutes ago. She calls me every day, looks after me. We have a conversation now. And that's a lot different than we had before. I wish you great luck. I know your Vision 2015 is absolutely going to work because you've got the leaders to make it happen. You've got to commit and make it happen too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Rick is fantastic. He's on top of his game, and he will deliver a fantastic message to you if you're looking for, for one, and I would definitely suggest considering him. He did an excellent job. He engaged with the crowd. The crowd loved him. I recommend you take a piece of Dr. Rick Goodman. It was a fantastic evening. We got the crowd involved. He pointed out some uh, wonderful stories from some of our employees. We'll be able to take away a lot of what he said and use it both in my personal life and in my business very educational, very motivational, and I would strongly recommend that you hire him for your company or your function or event.